me have a pull camera now, please? Sure. Do you, do you think you'll bring up this Santos expulsion resolution again? Yes, and I think that'll be, uh, that's likely to be right after the Ethics Committee publishes their findings, which we've been told it's going to be on or before November 17th. Do you think that there will be more support at that point from Republicans, the two-thirds two majority? Heck yeah. I, you know, a lot of my colleagues uh, had private conversations with, they wanted to hang their hat on something. They wanted to hang their hat on a guilty plea, uh, a, a guilty finding of a, of a jury or a judge, or an ethics committee finding. So I would expect the number of Republicans to increase from 24, uh, like it was yesterday, and I expect the number of Democrat no's to decrease from 31 that was yesterday. Why do you think Democrats voted to bail out Santos? It's a great question for, for them, for you to ask them, but I would suspect that they love the politics of this. They love not talking about the border. They love not talking about the budget. They love talking about George Santos. And I think their political priorities are probably misaligned there. Can we just ask you one quick question on the uh, Israel bill that's coming to yeah. the floor later today? Uh, you have the White House saying that the president would just veto this. You have Democrats in the Senate that say they're not going to take this yeah. seriously. Uh, is this the best way forward? I hope they're bluffing. I, I hope that the president wouldn't veto the House's funding towards America's closest ally in Israel. Those who chant death to America are the same ones who want to wipe Israel off the map. We have a common enemy. We should help Israel defeat that common enemy. I hope the president is bluffing or not in his full faculties when he says he would veto that bill. What about uh, attaching the offsets to it, the, the IRS offsets the CBO found would actually add to the deficit? Yeah, I can get there either way. I can either vote them with the offsets or without. I think it's paramount that Congress focus on funding Israel. Do you believe that that was a political poison pill, essentially, for so many Democrats who do want to support it? Uh, no, it's not a poison pill for me. I hope it passes the House. Okay. Did, did the Speaker talk about Ukraine funding in there, his plans for that? Yeah, I, uh, it wasn't quite clear. I think he's coupling it right now with the southern border. There seems to be dissent from members on coupling those issues. I think they ought to be brought as independent bills. We should talk about and debate Israel funding independently. I expect there to be 90 percent of the House or so to agree on funding Israel. We should have a discussion on Ukraine. There seems to be two camps of, of, of folks who have Israel funding for the blank check camp folks who can't spend enough there there's another another camp who doesn't want to spend one dollar and there's a lot of folks in the middle who want some reasonable approaches to it audits on the money a battle plan from the secretary of defense that what is this money going to we certainly don't have the money but if we're going to shell out billions tens of billions Congress, the American people, should be privy to what the administration's war plan is, and certainly an auditing of American taxpayer dollars going overseas. Just one last question, just to be clear, because it may end up heading that direction where the, the cuts to the IRS budget end up being stripped out of that bill in order to get Democratic support. You would still be behind that. I would. I think we have to support Israel at all costs. Uh, it, it is a matter of their sovereignty, their independence, their religious freedom. Uh, when we, as members of Congress, say Israel is our closest ally, we must put our money where our mouths are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much for stopping.